Hey, I'm Josh, co-founder at Interact Quiz Builder. We've been doing quizzes since 2013. We've helped more than 10,000 businesses generate over 80 million leads using quizzes since then. Now we're making the pivot into AI. About four months ago, I made a video on using ChatGPT3 to create a quiz. Thousands of people have followed that tutorial very successfully to create quizzes, cuts down the time tremendously to use that. Now ChatGPT4 is out and it's another step change in the system. It's so much faster to use ChatGPT4 and it's more accurate, it sounds more human, so you have less editing on the back end. It's also much more flexible, so you can make edits or insert parts of the quiz that you know you want rather than having to generate everything at once. I'm gonna go through four main types of quizzes you can make with ChatGPT4. In this tutorial, I'll show you the exact prompts and then all those prompts will be available in a blog post, copy and paste, edit small pieces of them to generate a quiz. Now you can also reach out to us and we'll take care of all this for you as part of our AI offering. When you do that, we also insert our own proprietary stuff on the back end, different models and inputs from our 10 years of experience. So go to ai.tryinteract.com if you would like to check that out. Without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna go through the four options for creating quizzes with ChatGPT4. All right, here we are in the brand new shiny interface for ChatGPT4. This is honestly super exciting because this works way better than the previous versions. It's just a it's a huge jump in the ability for the ChatGPT to actually give you what you want. So I'm just going to scroll through this conversation. I'm not going to spend too much time on these prompts because like I said, they're all available in a blog post to copy and paste. I'm not going to dwell on the exact format of every prompt. Just know that we've tested this for over a thousand quizzes and spent more than 700 hours actually building these prompts. So you can kind of trust that they're they're already optimized. We're using them for our own business. So um, you, can, you can trust these. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in pieces. I'm getting an idea first. And then I'm scrolling down and I'm narrowing down the idea. This is something you can do with ChatGPT4 that wasn't as good with previous versions. If you are like, oh, I like that, but can you do it like this instead? No problem. Just do that in line. It's all in one conversation. Then I make the outcomes and it spits those out really well. Again, if you if you have specific outcomes you want, you can either tell it, I want these outcomes, or you can tell it, I want to narrow down these outcomes. And then you do questions. I'm just scrolling through this quick because you know there's not much to look at here. It's not super pretty. Um, and then I modified the questions. And then I did the opt-in form. Then I did the uh, short description. Now, what I did after that is I loaded this into Interact and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, I made this what type of mindful eating approach is right for you quiz. Personality quizzes like this one are highly flexible because you can use it for everything from what type of mindful eating approach is right for you to a pure personality quiz, like what's your archetype. Uh, here's what it looks like in the builder. I just put all the questions and results in there. Again, reach out to us if you want us to just handle this for you. Now, here's the finished product. What type of mindful eating approach is right for you? Take quiz. I typically do like five, six, seven questions. This one's five questions. This is all text. You can have images wherever you want in this. I just like the text. It's clean. Here's the opt-in form. So this is what a lot of people use this for. These leads and this integrates with whatever email software you use. And then here's my results. And I'm the present nourisher. This button just says make a quiz with AI, but obviously that's where you would link to your own products, services, coaching programs, content, whatever. So that's the personality setup. Super quick, super simple, super flexible. This is also going to be saved as a chat in ChatGPT4. If you ever need to go back, modify something, make changes, you realize, oh, I want to do this differently. Not a problem. Okay. So that is the personality. Let's go to the product. And product is quite similar in function to personality. The scoring actually works exactly the same, but with product, you're actually starting with a list of your products and your product descriptions. So my example here is from Henry's House of Coffee. They've been a great partner to us. They're an Interact customer and they allow us to use them as an example. So I am literally copying and pasting the products and product descriptions from Henry's House of Coffee into this prompt. Now that's important because you want the quiz to recommend one of your products or multiple of your products. Either way, this is the same prompt. 
and you literally are just copying and pasting those product names and descriptions into here and then running the prompt to get quiz ideas and then outcomes, same type of flow, questions, opt-in form. And at any point along the way, again, I can't reiterate this enough because having worked with a few hundred clients now on the AI builds, oftentimes you'll see a first version and then be like, actually, I wanted to go like this. I wanted to say that. I want to insert this outcome. I needed to ask this question. Not a problem with chat GPT-4. You can just go back and say, please update that, you know, these questions to include these questions. And then it will include those questions and then build out the rest of it for you. Super, super great. Again, pop that over into Interact. Same thing here. Not complicated. Reach out to us if you want us to handle that for you. Which gourmet coffee is right for you? I really like how this one turns out. Again, check out Henry's House of Coffee because uh, they've been kind to let us use them as an example. And same type of thing. You go through the questions and you have the opt-in form and you have your outcome. So that is option number two, product quiz. Option number three, assessment. Assessments are where you want to give somebody a level or how much or like, you know, for example, it's like, what's your level of expertise in X? Here's actually the formats. Like, what's your level? Are you an expert? Uh, how something is your something? So how sustainable is your workplace is the example I'm giving here. It's basically where the outcome is a score on a scale of, you know, zero to a hundred or zero to a thousand. And the higher the score, typically the more proficient you are in a subject, but each question doesn't necessarily have a factually correct answer. It's more subjective in terms of how sustainable is your workplace. It's more of a sliding scale rather than, oh, your workplace is sustainable or it's not. Like there's different levels to it. And that's when you use an assessment. This is really popular uh, in use cases where there is something that is more open to interpretation. So again, same process. I get the ideas. I get the outcomes, I get the questions, it's doing all the scoring, it's formatting everything for me, really, really simple. I pop it over into Interact. So how eco-friendly is your workplace is the idea I went with here. And then here is the outcome, looks really nice, super interactive, fun, pretty opt-in form, and my results, sustainable innovator. Again, you can use that button to link to your own stuff. Last option here, the simplest one is the trivia knowledge test. This one, similar to the product one, you're starting with an article. So in this case, I pulled in a Wikipedia article about taxation in the United States. Tax season is coming up, something we all could probably know more about. Um, I just pasted that article into the prompt, and then I told it to write me some questions based on that article. It did a really beautiful job with that. ChatGPT4 is much better about creating questions from content than the previous versions. This one is really, really simple. Um, so then again, how much do you know about taxes? And here's that quiz. I like the format of this one. It's actually really helpful for learning because it gives you immediate feedback. I'm a huge fan of this. Um, I know the answer, so slight cheating here, but... Um, I like that it gives you this immediate feedback on, oh, you got that right, and here's why. Again, you can do the opt-in form, and then you get the outcome, and it'll show you your answers in the outcome too. So that one's really cool. Um, so yeah, my impression overall is that while the percentage change in the model is not massive, it goes from like 80% accurate up to like 90, 95 that is actually a really, really big difference because that's the difference between something immediately sounding human and sounding human, but like something's off. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's like something's off here. So I highly recommend using ChatGPT4. Again, if you want us to just handle all this for you and then also use our proprietary stuff on the back end, go to ai.tryinteract.com and we will help you out with that. You can also check the uh, description for a blog post with the exact prompts for these four models, personality, product, assessment, trivia, slash knowledge test. And we're also building more automated features in the future as we continue to delve into AI. But chat GBT4 
huge update. Highly recommend using it to build your quizzes.